Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The three and one pitch. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. How about it? So coming to the plate, Justin Turner. He was a ground out victim last time up. The count now at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter get that pitch count up here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes hit down the line at first but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two lifted into the air to shallow center Correa ranging into the outfield he makes the play really had to hustle to get to that one two gone now so now it'll be the four hole hitter Cody Bellinger he went down on strikes last time up now the three and two pick praises him a strikeout looking one two three Ross Stripling is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth number 68 here's George Springer he struggled at the top of the lineup in this one hitless to this point the three one Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the move is Peterson. Makes the play one away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. Who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. 1-1. So Hit in the air to straightaway center. Taylor is there. Two down. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one two. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. And now is Yasiel Puig. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Ken Giles takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Giles. A 1 1 home. Looked at for ball number two. Now the 2 1. Popped him up. Correa waits on it. One away. Austin Barnes will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 15. the strike and it's full three and two I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion that would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning but that's also kind of risky at the same time now the three and two pick rocks him up for strike three Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Lifetime numbers against Ken Giles. He's one for two. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Hot shot down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. He pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game.
You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe. Back up the middle, and a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Throw comes quickly to the infield, so that go-ahead run will have to hold up at third with two away. Digging in once again, Chris Taylor. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Bouncer down the line. Foul ball, strike two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. T.K. Hernandez is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. Here's Carlos Correa now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Taken in by Forsyth. On to first, and that is a huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Here's a high pop-up. Turner in foul ground. But this one's out of reach into the home dugout. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Yeah. Lays off two and two now. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Ready with another two strike offering, and he got him. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Evan Gaddis. High in the air down the right field line. On the move is Puig. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. So they at the plate, Corey Seager. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. And now pitch on the way. Still one and two. The one two. Swing and a soft liner. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the 10th. In now, Justin Turner he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one two. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball.
the 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Guriel will get there as he's able to tuck this one away just past the first base dugout for route number two. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. runs away for ball two two and one boy this guy comes out of the pen he loves coming in in spots like this tight situations this is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into now the two one fouled off him out here for round number three so after a scoreless top half we'll have a chance to win it here in the Scott Alexander comes on to start the home tenth and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning settling in now Brian McCann will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here two one here it is Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. The next three two and it's fouled away. The next three two and possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man when the game is tied the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. The winning run is at first base. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. And the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose. Now the three and two pitch. Pop straight up. Seeger has a play and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in George Springer. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Fouled away. Now the one and two pitch. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Now the one and two pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Swing and a ground ball to third on the foresight covering, and that ends the inning. One left for Houston. Score remains tied one to one. Will Harris takes the mound to start the 11th inning. 
number 36. Digging in to try it again. Yasiel Puig. No hits to this point. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One -one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now the 2-1. High in the air down the right field line. Reddick on the run. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. One finds the zone to fill the count three and two. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Well, he battled to get it to a three two count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Chase Utley will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Reddick has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandon. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Bregman has room in foul territory. And he brings it in on the warning track. One left for Chase Utley will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Number 26. Now to the plate, Jose Altuve. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Now a hard liner toward short. And there's one away. Up next for the Astros. Ready for another shot now. Carlos Correa. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Now the two one is in there for strike number two. Here now the two two. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Another try at 2-2. Looped out towards short. And an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. Now batting. First baseman. Gurriel. Standing in. Yuli Gurriel. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Puig's got a read on it, and the inning is over. So they're held. At the plate, Logan Forsythe. Career numbers against Will Harris. He's one for four. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. One and two pitch. It's 
to two balls and two strikes now. Two, two, one more time. Hit on the ground to third. Bregman fields it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Taylor. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he misses two and one. One out, nobody on. Taylor swings and a ball hit well to left. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. So a solo shot down the line in left as they've taken a one run lead. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. Stepping in now, Corey Seager hit hard on the ground to second. And that's the second out. Now batting. Third baseman. Justin Turner. Now at the plate, Justin Turner. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 1-1 one, one home is a ball down and away. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes them out in front. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. Dodgers lead this one 2-1. to one. Kenley Jansen enters from the pen.